How we doing guys? Nick Parada back with you. Valdez, Alaska. We got a crew of about 20 boys back here. Everybody came a different way. Everybody's got a different reason for being here. But it all comes down to the just being in the mountains. You know, everybody wanted to come ride these mountains, test themselves, and leave with the feeling that they've conquered something bigger than themselves. And so you, the viewer at home, on your computer watching us, this is what you can be doing. You can be here. You can do this. People came by, a couple guys came by boat, a couple guys caravan, a couple guys flew in, a couple guys trucked in. A lot of people got up here differently, but you know it's all for the same reason. We got a good crew of boys here. We have a totally diverse group of snowboarders up here from old 43-year-old people like myself to 18-year-old super huckers. And we're all here for the same reason. We all got here a different way. But when we all leave, we're all gonna have that same shit hitting green on our grin on our face. So Mountain Ops 08. My name is Corey Smith and I work for Smith Optics. I manage the snowboard team. My name is Shane Pospisil. First time in Alaska. You uh you get some shots with Smith and uh Mountain Ops crew. I'm Mike Basher, I'm the photo editor at Snowboard Mag, and uh, I'm up here at Mountain Ops to kind of uh, document uh, a, a trip that we're in the middle of. Yeah, my name is David Baster Chia. I'm originally from Ketchum, Idaho, but I currently live in Pemberton, British Columbia, Canada. My name's Nick Nicolata Parada. I live in Boise, Idaho, and at 43 years old, I'm still coming back to Valdez, Alaska after 15 years since my first time here. My name is DJ Smokey, here with the Mountain Ops crew. Second year to Alaska for me. Why Alaska? Well, this is the place, you know. Pretty much no rules. Big mountains, good vertical, steep. It's gonna be a new experience for me, for sure. Never been up here before and never really shredded uh, full lines or anything, so. Hopefully it works out. It's the spot where I saw all my heroes riding on film growing up, and it's the spot I always wanted to travel to and experience myself. So when the opportunity came about, no question, I'm going. I don't know, just the drive seems cool. Check out the country, all of uh, Canada, the Yukon. Uh, what I want to accomplish first and foremost is just uh, getting the story, you know, get the best shots we can for the story. And me personally, I just want to get some the power runs in, you know, I mean, there's thousands of feet of vertical here that, that uh, is untracked. <laughs> I want the sun to come out, I want to see all these mountains, and I want to go, uh, go be able to uh, check them out and hopefully get on to some, some big stuff. Well, I've been pretty much competing in contests all season long, so I'm just anxious to get on uh, some power lines and some turns in. It's all about flying in that helicopter, Seeing the visuals of this landscape is one of the most magnificent things I've ever seen. And then you actually get to get out of the helicopter and ride down, you know, the hill. So that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, the last three days we've been pretty much on a weather hold. Um, we're making the best of it. We've got this great base camp set up to kind of entertain people, but it's all about waiting for the bluebird, you know, and people try to keep themselves occupied any way they can. I don't know. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some pockets of sunshine and we can make something happen. But uh, the down days and the weather definitely affect you when you're up here. We've got athletes flying in tomorrow and we're hoping we get three or four good bluebird days so we can get some, some tricks on lockdown and get that stuff in the movie. Trying to stay up here on the base camp and be ready for the conditions to change, which it will at any minute. Just got to be patient. Keep it loose. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have some fears coming to Alaska. Fears for sure. Just avalanches and I'd like to hopefully keep it semi mellow and try to stay safe. You know, I've been in the backcountry a bit, but not not uh, not enough to be like totally comfortable with uh, with everything. Um, I want to make sure that the riders that I've brought are are comfortable. Not all of them are backcountry guys, and that's kind of the premise of the story I'm trying to tell in my movie. And we got our guys coming in. Scotty let go, Mason Geary and Mark Carter, so we got a nice little crew and hopefully we'll have fun. These mountains humble you as a person and you know when you're humbled you're you know you're in a in a pretty 
cool state of mind where you're you're almost scared at, at knowing oh shit I gotta ride these when it clears you know and it, it humbles you and, and that's what it did to me you know you it's just it's always scary because you just don't know what's going on with snowpack or you know when you're on glaciers crevasses you know it's just hard when you come to new, new areas you really gotta like kind of step back from where you would any you know if you're at home you really have to just like step back and just slowly uh, get into it All right, ladies and gentlemen, day three has finally come to an end here at Mountain Ops, Tailgate Party, Valdez, Alaska. I want to thank you very, very much for tuning in. Without your guys' support and you, ch you guys checking us out up here, we probably would not even be able to be here. So please stay tuned because day four is going to be even sicker. Late. <laughs>